Hello Intune friends, in today's video we're going to install Zoom, a video conferencing tool. And we're going to do that with a super cool tool called Winget. And you're going to love it. It exists already, for example, in uh, if you can know uh, Linux, it exists in uh, Ubuntu, they have APT. In Fedora, they have Yum. In Mac OS, for example, they have Homebrew. And in Windows, it exists a few others, but Winget is a built-in on later version of Windows. I'm running Windows 11, there it's definitely. On later version of Windows 10, there is also this Winget. So it's a command line tool where you can install software. So we don't have to download the MSI file and package it. We can just run a, a sort of a one-liner. So let's speak a bit about Winget first, and then we're going to create one of these scripts and package it with the Win32 app and deploy to Company Portal. It's probably going to be two videos uh, and the same software Zoom. One, we're going to set the specific, specific version and on the other one, we're just going to get the latest all the time. So let's start. What is Winget? So I'm going to start just the normal CMD. I'm going to run it as administrator. And since I'm running Windows 11, I already have this. So let me just bump up the um, size, font size. Let's do 24. And let's type uh, Winget. And then it's going to show us some um, commands here. So install, it's going to install something. Show, it's just going to show information about the package. Search, you can search on the package, but I'm going to show how we can do that through the web also. List to see what's already installed on our device and uh, then we can uninstall. Those are the most common one here. So let's um, run some of these commands. I'm gonna do it on a virtual machine. So the same here, let's do uh, CMD here, run as admin. And if we run winget, if we run, for example, list, we can see what's already installed on my device and also which one can be managed by Winget. So if we scroll up here a bit, uh, we have 7-zip that can be installed by Winget, uh, Edge, and uh, further down we have Office, Teams, uh, VLC, and actually Adobe Acrobat can be installed by Winget, but apparently not the version I have here. So. Let's see, what can we do then? So Winget, if we just want to search for software, we could search and then put VLC, for example, Winget search VLC. And then it's going to uh, find uh, five, five different here who seems to be related to VLC. If we wanted to have a more, if we know that we wanted, uh, for example, this one from Videolan, we could have put uh, search and do dash E, that means exact. So it has to be exactly that. And the ID, and then the ID here is called videolan.vlc. Now we should get only one entry here, and it's this one. So it's pretty nice to be able to do that on the command line, but if you wanna do it the browser way, let me show one page. So if I open a browser here on my other machine, then there is this site winget.run, and I'm going to put that uh, link in the description. Here you can search on software. So if we, for example, search on Zoom, since that's what we're going to search, uh, going to install, then you see it give us um, six different. So Zoom Outlook plugin, that's pretty good to have if you're running Zoom, but I strongly recommend to install that through Office 365 add-ins instead of package it. But if you don't have that, you can definitely package that. We're going to focus on Zoom, the actual software that start the video conference and everything. So I click on this one, and then we actually get a command to install. So we, if we run this command, it's going to install. So it's winget install, again E is for the exact version of the ID, and zoom zoom get this one. And it's going to show some previous uh, version here also. The latest one at today's recording is 5.12, so we can take this one here, and if we click 5.11 the latest, and let's say that's the version we actually want to install, 
Then we can copy this one and let me just open a notepad and paste in the command. It's going to be similar to the other command. It's just adding a... That's not what I wanted. Uh, well, we can keep notepad open. Let's remove this one. It should add a dash V for version. Let me, it says copied. Let's see if it get it now. Uh, for some reason, it maybe think it's the latest. That's why it doesn't give me the V. It's not the latest. Let me copy this one. And paste. Yes, here we get the version. That's what I wanted. So we're still gonna uh, package that one. So we will have 84v8425 so if I copy this line here control C and go back to my CMD and paste here then it's gonna download and install zoom with this version and that's actually what our package gonna do so we can test that on our uh, virtual machine that doesn't have zoom yet and I'll do a CLS just to clear here so I'll type the text from the clipboard here since it's a virtual machine so if you run winget install the exact id of zoom zoom and we want this version if we hit enter it's going to start to install um, there could we're going to add some more um, switches but let's keep it simple for now and it's not silent if we added dash uh, silent dash dash silent i believe it is we would not see the installation so now it's downloading and you see it is uh, 5.11 it actually have 11 twice there but 8425 it's going to download and install so you see it's pretty sweet this uh, winget See if it finished. And this part here, it's not totally silent, but if we added the dash dash silent, it would be. Okay, so done. So now I should have Zoom on my system, and I do. Here is Zoom installed. And uh, we can also uninstall it. So let's um, do that as well. So we can run the same command. We don't have to specify the version though when we uninstall. And instead of install, we do uninstall. So here we already got our install and uninstall command. Well, we will add uh, uh, dash dash silent. So if we just look at winget uh, install, we have to see some more switches. So here's the one I mentioned, the silent. We will want to add that. It's always good to add these also accept package agreements because we want it totally silent. We can also add these. In worst case, they do nothing if the package doesn't require it, but that's a good way to keep it silent. I mean, you could add architecture, which is x64 if you want, but I haven't needed to do that. I always get x64, but if you want 32-bit, then specify this, or if for some reason you get 32-bit and you want 64-bit, but usually I haven't needed that. You see, I specify by ID, I prefer that, but you can also do it by name. I have actually no idea what the moniker means, but uh, you, you can filter by that too. Uh, I would just, so what we would think now, you probably think, great, we just add this to PowerShell script and package as a Win32 app and deploy it and we're good. I would agree that sounds like a good idea. The problem is that winget isn't found by the system account. So if I do a who am I, it, I'm using my account here as your AD John Bruins. This account know where winget is, but the system account doesn't. I'm going to I'm going to show that by going to a temp folder where I have download up CD temp where I have downloaded a PSXA. So if I run psxec, that's a tool from system internal. I do interactive dash system and start a new CMD. But now I'm going to start this one as a system. So if I know do, uh, who am I, I'm running as entity authority system. That's what the uh, um, Intune run packages. Well, you can check user, then that doesn't happen. But we want to run a system, then we know we have admin permission. And this one, if I type winget here, it will actually not know where that is. 
So we will have to do some code just to help system to find. And I have pre-coded that code. So we can go, uh, let's start to look at that because we want to package this part now. We, we're going to look a bit more at Winget, but now you have seen how to search, how to install, how to uninstall. Those three are the most important. Okay, so now we want to package this. So I'm going to start PowerShell IEC as uh, administrator. Excellent. And we know we want Winget. Then it was install. Let me do this a bit bigger. I'll zoom in twice. Or three times. A bit bigger. Winstall, uh, winget install dash e for the exact ID and double dash for ID. And it was zoom dot zoom. Then we wanted the version dash v or we could do dash dash version. And we wanted uh, this version here. I'll copy that. That's only when you want this specific version. If not, you just remove and you get the uh, latest. The problem there is that it's more difficult to know uh, for your detection method, but we're coming to that and we're going to fix that with a script. We want this uh, totally silent. And then we wanted the two extra switches. So let me go here, get install. We want uh, accept dash dash accept package agreement just so it doesn't get stuck on that since it's totally silent. I'm going to paste that here and all this that you see here, I'm going to post in the description of the video. And we want this accept source agreement also. I hope I got that copied. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So this looks to be a winner. Again, if we just run this now, this will work on this machine, but when we run it as system, it won't find winget so that's what we're gonna do now how can we find the path to the winget so i already have a script for that let's open a tab i'm on the latest windows uh, 11 who have that and then go to my directory where i have all my packages i have them underscore gbn in tune packages so here i have a script that finds um, the winget exe let's uh, Let's open that in Notepad++, for example, just to take this code. So I'm going to take this code and I'm going to explain it. We can test run it a bit. I'm not going to explain it so much in detail, uh, but um, you're going to be able to copy that from the description of this video. I'm going to explain it a bit here. So this variable here, GBN winget resolve, it's going to try to find where is the winget with uh, this uh, asterisk. So if we run only this one, I'll show you the output. Actually, I'm just going to run the output of this one since the variable going to hide it, if not. So I click on this one here. It's just going to run the selection. I could run F8 also. You see, it's give the path to the winget, but this variable now hold path <clears throat> and this uh, dash dash and everything. And we want only the last line so on line two, we actually take the whole output of this one, but minus one. It means start from the end and take only the first line. So that means we copy, we get this value. That's perfect. So now we have this value, <clears throat> but we actually just want, we don't want win get. So we have to get rid of win get. So what do we do then? Well, we run this command who split and take the parent. That means it's going to take the parent of this one, which will be this. And after that, in this line, we set the location to this uh, place here. And when we're in this location, we can say dot backslash and say run winget. Let's put winget.exe. It's not needed. <clears throat> because when we have set location, we are here. And then we can run this command. So I'm going to run only this part and you're going to see that it's going to do set location here. Perfect. And from here, if we do um, a ls, we have a lot of files, but one of these should be uh, winget. 
uh, I was probably, yeah, the bottom one, of course, sorting on W. So, perfect. This script should work even if running as system. So, unfortunately, we have to add all this when we run as uh, system in Intune. I like to add some comments. And let's add a comment here. Um, sorry for that. Comment. Oop. Let's add a comment here and just say uh, find path to win. Winget.exe. And then down here, on Winget.exe. And up here, uh, install Zoom, and we can put the version. I have that in Windows V, I hope. Oh, I have copied a lot. Here we got the version. Uh, using Winget and author, I put myself, and date, today is 20 December 2022. I like this. So let's save this one. And I need a new folder here. So I have a full course, a lot of videos how to do this. So I'm going to do it pretty quick. If you want to follow, subscribe to my channel. And I explain a lot more in detail how to create all these folders. So let's create one and we call it the Zoom client. I'm going to paste the version number again. And x64. In here, you follow my videos, you know I create always two folders, one called output and one called source. And we are currently creating the source right now. Source. So if we go into source, here we can save our PowerShell script. Oh, I was a bit fast there. So the name is not all what I wanted. We can go back there. Uh, some client, uh, source. And let's F2 to rename it. I want it to be called install dash zoom client. Let's paste the version number again. X64. Um, I'll close this one. Let's edit this one. We don't have to edit this one. This one is fine. The only reason why I want to edit it is because um, I want to create an uninstall also. So this one is good, but we can do an uninstaller very easy also. Uninstall. Actually, I'll save this one first because I seem to have slippery fingers right now. So I don't overwrite our install. Uninstall. And it's not going to be any version. It's going to work for all. So I remove the version. Uninstall. Good. So here's our uninstall. So our uninstall is going to be pretty much the same, just that instead of install, it's uninstall, and we don't need to uh, specify any version. I don't think we need the accept. <clears throat> no, let's remove those. I'm afraid they might not even have those switches and then fail. So uninstall, zoom, silent. So that's going to be good. Um, run win get. Not so good explanation. Should to uninstall. That one should be installed probably. Okay, so this is good. Now we have the uninstall and install script. So I think we are good with PowerShell ISE. So for the package, so the source is good. Now we need to create an Intune Win file. And for that, we need another utility. And I'm going to give that path um, in um, the description of this video. It's on GitHub. So it's this tool here, it hasn't been updated since 10th of May. I'm going to download this one. See, I've already downloaded it before. And I'm going to cut this one out. Uh, so let's be sure, cut this one, open a new one. And I want to go to our package. It's under C, GPN, Intune Packages, Zoom Client, and paste it here. We have everything except for the logo. So logo is for, or image, is for a company portal. So let's put the zoom icon PNG transparent. Perfect. And 
take the first one seems to be transparent perfect we can do save image as and it remember an old package so let's go to zoom client and let's call this one zoom perfect now we have everything that we need yep this looks good so now we will run intune win app utility it's going to go so fast i'm going to run it from uh, cmd you don't have to you can double click on it also uh, so i have to go underscore gbn oops that's not underscore that's underscore gbn um is it intune packages yes is it zoom yes if we do i clear the screen it start to be messy here if i do a dear here we have intune uh, app utility let's run that so it wants four parameter the first one is the source folder so i have that here i'm gonna right click and take copy as path on windows 10 you might need shift right click so we paste that here next it needs the setup file it actually just need the file name but i'll go here and just take the install one right click copy as path and then the output it's where it's going to copy the intune win file and hopefully ours is empty it is i'm just going to take this output here and the last question always no unless you're running windows s version which i never seen anyone done done it seems to have been a success let's see if we see the file here yes this is the file we're gonna upload okay we got our intune win file let's go to the console and here we go under apps you don't have you can go directly to apps i like to go to windows then you get less options here are previous packages we have done in previous videos let's click add we're going to take the one at the very bottom which is win app 32 just select then we're going to select our package file which is going to be extremely little in size small in size uh, just for verify that's the good path that's the good file perfect you see it's not even one kilobyte let's uh, shape this up a bit zoom client x64 description is going to be visible in uh, company portal zoom client for uh, video conference meetings we could uh, double asterisk this one is that bold yes it is hit ok uh, publisher zoom app version i'm gonna copy this one and remove the spaces i saw that i got uh, remove space category i guess it's collaboration social it's a good one for this and notes i'll put myself and uh, 20 december 2022 we can get install oh, okay. lowercase and our image the one we just uh, downloaded not long time ago here yeah that one looks nice go next so install command it's gonna be powershell.exe let's add the execution policy bypass then it's gonna be dash file and which file are we going to run let's go to our source folder and take this name i do an f2 control a control c and paste and i do control a control c and paste here because it's going to be similar just going to see no typo execution policy bypass file looks good and the uninstall of course i need to take the uninstall name f2 control a control c and we change this one perfect we definitely wanted to run a system and there comes the problem which we, uh, because system don't find the uh, winget but we fixed that in our script 
uh, restart no specific action we don't want any restart go next here we have operating 64 bit here let's go um, nice 20 h2 that's still pretty old this those are the only two required i usually specify uh, how many megabytes it takes but i skip that for this one can add it later detection rule is going to be an interesting one let's do a manual configuration we don't have well we have an msi code but anyway that's not my preferred method it's to do file so the path it's gonna be i'm gonna steal that from my own system so i open a new tab and it's gonna be c colon backslash program files backslash zoom is it backslash bin and backslash zoom yeah let's check what version is zoom.exe so copy that one so i paste that as path but as you know zoom.exe is not part of the path i do Control x and paste that here so before it install we check if this one is here and have the good version then we don't need to install if it's not the good version we want to run it and after we want to see that it's uh, the good version so i do string version here operator greater than or equal you can take only equal but if someone update to a later version i don't want i want this one still to be a success so the value here do i have that if i do windows uh, yes we want this one and i have a space in the beginning that's why it doesn't like it so it has to be the one we deploy or greater for it to be success it's not under program files uh, x86 so i will not click yes here so i click ok the detection rule that's the most common part where you mess up and but this one is good next we have no dependency no supersedence let's assign this available to all user go next and create so this is going to go fast to create even on my slow connection because you saw it was less than a kilobyte so it should upload fairly quick it's finished so if we go back to all our apps we now have let's open company portal usually go pretty quick so it's probably already there it is there let's install it as you remember it's just going to download two very small uh, files powershell and it's going to run one of them and that one's going to run uh, winget and download uh, from uh, repository the latest not the latest 5.11 here in the next video we're going to install the latest and it's going to be similar to what we have done now the the whole thing is going to be the detection method is going to be a bit more difficult Um, the zoom app is here, but you see, it sort of still said it failed. Hmm, surprised me. Let's see my detection method if I did something wrong. Uh, zoom bin zoom. What is exactly the version here? properties um oh it seems file version is 5.11.118442 i think i did not put that okay so that's my bad uh, i need to add an extra okay let's so we have to check uh, the detection method detection rule here up oh, yeah that's my bad so I need another 11 if we hit ok here review save so it, the installation work it's me who messed up with the detection rule which have now been fixed so it's possible that it's just a sync away from actually say that it's installed now i don't find the machine 
So if I go here, so it still say, oh, it needs to install a version. Uh, let me do a sync and see if that fixes it. It's giving this error. Well, I can fix that by just uh, clicking and sign in again, but <clears throat> let's see if we can just do a sync and have that fixed. So this file, okay, interesting. That's not what the web page said, or did it? Nope, this say this is the version, but the file version is a bit different. Okay, fine. <clears throat> okay, sync is done. Let's see if this thinks this one is installed now. Yes, now it understands. So we don't have to. It actually worked first time. It was me who did a mistake in the detection method. So we are good here. Hey, I think we stop here for this video. In the next video, we will package exactly the same thing, but always with the latest version. And it's going to be a bit different, especially around the detection method. So thank you very much. See you in the next video.